looks like we have everybody here, so let's proceed with this week's sales department meeting. Ha! <laughs> sales department! Fuck yeah! Craig, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but if you don't stop it with the inappropriate language, you're going to be sent to sensitivity training again. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Craig, again with the language. <sighs> Never mind. Now... Let's get on with it. As you know, Ameriway Management, our office, is opening up its offices next week. And while we're very excited to be back in person, woo, yeah, um, there's some very important safety procedures that we have to go over given the current situation. Ooh, I have a question. Yes, Susan. Okay, so are we going to have to be in bubbles like Bubble Boy in the movie Bubble Boy? No, Susan, we are not going to be in bubbles. However, um, there will be some plexiglass, you know, barriers up between persons to make sure there's no droplet transfer if anyone coughs or sneezes. You hear that, David? No droplet transfer. That means you can't play tonsil hockey with the sales rep in the janitor's closet no more. It was one time, Teresa. All right, Mr. and Mrs. Anderson, I know that your pending divorce has been a source of tension in the office, but if you could just deal with that on your own time. Could you please come home, Teresa? You're interrupting Mrs. Bates' speech, you nasty prick. I'm so glad I'm going to be in my own bubble away from you. Again, we are not going to be in bubbles. Now, this should be obvious, but masks will be required at all times while in the office. Yeah, so you gotta listen to Ms. B and wear your masks, you dirty fuckers. <laughs> Craig, again with the language. Anyway, does everyone understand um, about the masks? Yes, Martha. Yeah, uh, I went to see my holistic healer last week, and she told me that wearing a mask would actually block my inner light from absorbing the abundant energy of the universe, so. Okay, Martha, well, all the experts say that wearing a mask does not even keep you from breathing in oxygen, so I'm sure that a mask won't block your universe energy, so if you could just wear a mask mm. to make sure that everyone is protected. Oh my gosh, I would not go into the office without protection. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I have got rose quartz to ward off negative vibes. And I'm looking at you, Mr. and Mrs. Anderson. Um, oh, and I've got this beauty. This is calcite, um, which promotes a, just like a healing mindset. It's so soft. Ooh, oh, I've got amethyst, um, which I just think is like so pretty. You see it? It's like purple. And okay, and I've got what else All I've got in my All right, bag. <laughs> Martha, that's enough. You're working from home. Now, for everyone who's coming into the office, do you understand that we all need to follow proper procedures or else we're all gonna get... Hey, hey yeah. Mrs. Bates, I have an idea. What, Donna? Um, to make everyone feel better about this whole global pandemic thing, how about I bring in my famous double chocolate cake on our first day back? That's a really sweet gesture, Donna, but we probably shouldn't be sharing food at this time. Oh, I actually think sharing the cake will actually uh, just promote a nice energy vibe between us, and it will actually shield us from the virus. Martha, who hired you again? I bet David would like to feed some Donna's cake to that slutty sales rep from Covina. It was a moment of weakness, Teresa. Everyone, this is serious. Well, David, maybe I'll have a moment of weakness with your friend Bob that cleans the gutters. I you seen him up on that ladder, scraping the leaves out of the drain pipe? David is a real man. He's an honest man, unlike you, David. Good luck with that, Teresa. Now, if we could please get on with the return procedure. You know what, Teresa? I'm coming over there. I'm coming over to your place right now, Teresa. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you hanging by the edge of your seat, Teresa? I'll have you arrested for trespassing. Good luck with in jail with the Rona. Please, Teresa, we need David. Don't have him arrested. He manages like half of our accounts. You're goddamn right. Oh, fuck yeah, David! Craig, language, oh. again! Now, everyone, if we could please continue with the return procedures. What now, Susan? So, 
Are we going to have to be five feet apart? Like in the movie, five feet apart. Yes. Yes, Susan. S social distancing is great. Finally, someone's on the right page. Aw, I wanted to give everyone a big hug. Mm. I'll give you a hug, Donna. <laughs> Hugs all around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's meld our bodies. Oh. I'd like to hug David with my fist. No. Just no, absolutely not. No hugging between employees at all. Okay. Now, before we continue, since everyone's been so mouthy, does anyone have any legitimate, relevant, non-moronic questions or comments that they feel the need to voice before we move on? Yes, Gavin, this better be good. I read on facebook.qanonisreal.com that the coronavirus is a hoax. You did? Fuck! Oh, whoa, Miss Bate! Oh, shut up, Craig! Now listen, you idiots! We are in the middle of a global pandemic, the likes of which none of us have ever seen in our lifetimes and likely will never see again. And in the middle of that global pandemic, corporate has decided to put profits above our lives and send us back to our unventilated, crowded office. And given that situation, I thought it would be nice of me, your manager, Miss Bates, to give you some fun tips and tricks about how not to get the coronavirus. But you know what? You're on your own now. Because I quit. I quit. I'm leaving this meeting. Uh, uh, Miss Bates, you got a hit leave meeting. Well, I guess it means I can go back into the office. <laughs> All right, so who wants me to hear about like the crystals I'm gonna bring? Okay, first I've got lapis lazuli, which is for immunity. Okay, I've got uh, oh garnet for uh, digestion, uh, opal for creativity and inspiration. Ooh topaz for like a balanced energy. Um, ooh bloodstone, which will just really root your root chakra. And uh, oh, I've got aquamarine, <laughs> but that's mostly because it makes me feel like a mermaid. <laughs> Ooh, Martha, can you teach me how to be a crystal lady? Oh my gosh, Darlene, of course. Okay, come on over and I am going to draw you a moon bath. Oh, yay! <laughs> okay, okay. Where did everybody go? Oh. Oh, Bob. He's such a mink, I shouldn't have. Oh, by the way, can you turn on the electric fence? Dave is trying to get, try to come over. <laughs> <laughs>